Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and the games you're about to see are going to be a live stream highlight from a live stream that happened previously. Now, if you're interested and don't want to miss my next live stream, then go check out the link in the description to my Twitch channel, and go hit that follow button and enable notifications to be notified the next time I go live, so that you can come by, chat, play games, suggest decks to play, all that sort of fun stuff. So, if you're interested, definitely go do that. If you're not, just enjoy the gameplay if that's what you're here for. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, we're going to play this for a bit. Um, the only thing I'm gonna sh uh, change, I'm gonna take out these dualities, I'm gonna put in two Ash Blossoms, I'm gonna take out an Ogre, and, um, <clears throat> side the third Mind Control, and play one Fringe Desires, <laughs> or just, no, we'll just play the one duality, the one of Theory, one duality. Perfect. TCG, there we are. Okay. I get to go first, and I open Elder Caught a Hawk. See, this is what a real deck does. No shitty vampires required. No shitty vampires needed. You just open broken. Oops. Sorry. Like, fuck. Yes, target two of my banished. Um... I want uh, a Rampango to be on the field. So yeah, I'll target these two. And chain, tag out for Elder and for Rampango <clears throat> to get Laura. Uh, where the fuck is she? There she is. Dragoon Orso Tribute. Uh, you play. Uh, the, it's Link format. You play Blackwing Steam the Cloak. And every card in your deck gets you Steam the Cloak in Graveyard. And that tributes it. Like, that's the entire purpose. Uh, I need to banish... This first? I think so. No. I definitely need to banish for a Paleo. Yes. Um, because <clears throat> then this goes into Kimun Falcos, which then activates, uh, which can banish the Apaleo from my grave and summon Laura, which brings back this. Yeah. Summon Laura. Laura's effect brings back Conahawk, which then Conahawk banishes Winda. Winda, 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 Winda. There you are. And then I get two more searches. Whee! <clears throat> return two, yep. Uh, so I'll return this and Laura to Grave. And then chain the tag out for Laura and Paleo. So Paleo, Laura. So I've got Steeds, I've got Ambush. I'll just go ahead and get another Steeds. <clears throat> I activate this uh, to banish one of these bastards. Doesn't matter which one. And then go into this again. Here. Activate this. I want to keep the Apaleo and the Winda engraved, so I will put uh, the Rampangu and the Conahog back. Yeah. Uh, so I'll get another Steeds. Three Steeds, Ambush, Strike. Perfect. Uh, set a bunch of this shit. Powerful deck, eh? Um, turn on always chain and pass my turn. Draw phase. Tag this out for Winda and Apaleo. <clears throat> Which one is this? Apaleo. Here. Winda. Here. Then go ahead and use Apaleo's effect. Uh, to banish Rampangu. So now this can tag out if necessary. So I've got Ambush live with Elder Conahawk in Grave. I've got the Kimon Falcos live to tag out with Petal, uh, with Rampangu and um, an Elder here. Why do I always play against dinosaurs when I'm playing against these, like... <laughs> Why do I always do this? <laughs> Why is it always dinosaurs? Um, how very strange. I'll strike this. Every time I play Ritual Beast, somebody plays dinosaurs. Don't understand. 
you're curious to see what Dragoonie looks like now? It's very unimpressive. If I had to, if I had to say, it's, it's not very impressive at all. The deck is literally just make Omega, make Omega, make Omega. How many, how many Omegas can my hand make? Okay, I'm gonna make that many Omegas, and then can I also make a Crystal Wing on it? Sure. Okay, we'll make that too. It's very underwhelming. Dragoonies are like shitty. Dragoonies are really shitty right now. They've been shitty since 2013. Ever since Dragon Rulers went away. Um, I feel like I'm okay steedsing for one. Because then it doesn't search. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Ah, damn it! I forgot to ambush. I forgot to do this too. Shit. Alright. <clears throat> Got me duelist. To attack. To attack. Activate the effect to banish. Everything's big. This should be enough for game though by itself, so I'm I'm okay with that. Mech Knight Dinos. What an odd, odd, odd choice. Um I keep forgetting that I just have to enable always chain at all times during my opponent's turn. Or else I'm just gonna not get to play my ambush. <laughs> Oopsie! <clears throat> well, this is just game. Like, this deck throws around a lot of really big numbers as soon as a Paleo is on the field, especially with it being boosted by this. This is a 600 attack boost, and then this is 5. So that's huge. That's a huge attack boost. Okay, so I'm playing as Dinos. <sighs> okay, so Ogre doesn't do anything in this matchup. Ash does. Regeki and Dark Hole do stuff. Dimensional Fissure, Duality can come out. I'm going to be going second. Dimensional Fissure, I'm going second, so that card's worthless. Um, <sighs> I kind of just don't want to deal with Conductor Tyranno, so I'll just put these in too. Seems like the way to go. Uh, Torrential, I can take one of those out because I'm going second. There we go. <clears throat> I'm okay with that side decking pattern. I'm out of water. See, now this hand is... Oh, my opponent let me go first. This hand is really good, though. How very courteous of you to let me go first. I'll activate this. Add this. And then activate the, the research lab. Oh, yeah, you're playing Mech Knights. Why would I assume that I was going to go first? Um, that's so bad of me to do. Uh, then we'll normal this. And then activate this. Uh, banishing this. Sending a Paleo. Then go into this. Activate. Target 1, 2. Then chain the tag out. Summon Win and Rampangu. This will search for Steeds. Uh, and then I can activate this to put Winda in Grave. And then these will become Kimun Falcos, which I can then activate. <clears throat> Banishing Winda to normal summon Pilika. Pilika then brings back the Apaleo. And the Apaleo then banishes the. I don't think it matters. Rampanga. <sighs> and then we'll go into Conahawk again. Conahawk here. Activate effect for. Let's see, Apaleo has been summoned. Uh, this and the Winda have not. So I want Winda plus Kimun Falcos. So I'll we'll activate this. Tagging out for this and the Winda. So boom, boom. Search ambush. And now I can make um, <clears throat> I can make my Ultikana Hawk again, and then Ultikana Hawk will now put this and Pilika into the grave to search another Steeds. Perfect. This deck is so cool. Why is this deck so cool? 
I didn't play around the Mech Knight. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay. So, uh, I, I mean, this already doesn't play around the Mech Knight anyway, so might as well. <laughs> but I want these in the zones. And then we'll activate this. Banishing, it doesn't matter. Actually, it does. We'll banish the win. Uh, because I can ambush for a tamer and beast from grave and leave this banished. So that's good. Lost World. How could you? That inherently cucks steeds. By the way. By the by, that cucks steeds. Megalo Smasher. He's gonna smash all my Megalos, man! So I can't steeds this now. Because it's a normal monster, and Lost World is going to be a cuck. Why do I always play against dinosaurs when I play Ritual Beasts in TCG? And it's always the same shitty dinosaur variants, too, with, like, the normals in Lost World. Like, these cards are not good. <laughs> in case you didn't know, these cards are actually just not good. Um, okay, cool. Always Chain is on, so... I should be able to just ambush in the end phase and then immediately kill my opponent. Yes. End phase. Ambush. Uh, from graveyard. And from graveyard. So. These two will go here. What does Lost World do? It's like they lose 500 attack except dinosaurs. Oh, or I can just easily reset that with the Apaleo. Not even a problem, mate. Uh, banish this. I don't even know which one that was. Um, which is kind of problematic, but at the same time, also fine. Uh, so this is, um, if a normal monster on the field will be destroyed by a little card effect, you can destroy that many. Okay, so, first step. Step uno. Is to make, I could just make bore load. <laughs> as fucking wild as that sounds, right? I could just make Bore Load. Um, I will banish this and send Elder. And so now I could make um, I could make a Link Monster. I could make Human Falcos. I could do a few different things. Uh, first, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna link with this and this into Human Fa into uh, Ulti Conahawk and do this. So we'll put this, and uh, I'm going to target this, and the Pelica. Then chain the tag out for uh, for Pelica, and uh, this. And then so that'll, uh, that'll search me a Laura. So here's what's going to happen, right? So I'm going to link into this with. Uh, I should no, I don't even need to use that again, so I won't. Um, we'll do this and this into this. Now I can normal summon. Uh, I'll gain my additional normal summon here. Yeah, sure. Uh, additional normal for Laura. Both of the Kimon Falcuses are in my grave again, so now I can just bring this one back. So there's, there's no need to, like, worry about shit. Uh, Boar Load has to be three effect monsters, so I can't use this token for it. That's so cucky. Damn it. Well, I can do this, this, and... Um... Yeah. Okay. So here's the play, right? Is this Lightning Chidori. With these two. To get rid of the set. And then... We get rid of the Lost World. And now, I can just Raigeki that. And now I can normal summon this. And now this is game. Right? I think this is game. This is 27 plus 6 plus these. Yeah. This is definitely just game. Alright. <laughs> nice lost world, mate. I was gonna make a boar load and like go fancy and like take it, but I have the Raigeki, so I might as well. Might as well just not, eh? Why am I like being really overly like Canadian today, eh? 
Why am I asking so many questions, Derry? Alright. Interesting match. To say the very least. And so now the video's over, I'd like to give special thanks to my patrons, Iradium, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertson, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else that's supporting the lower tiers. You guys are forever awesome for the support that you give, you help make things on this channel possible, and I cannot express the amount of appreciation I have for you guys. You guys are awesome, thank you so much for the support.